sent to you, he prepares you to meet your Lord, teaches you to be a servant through lessons, and he destroys your ego. Then he is a protection to you like your skin protects your internal organs. So if something happens to you that is difficult, does it mean your sheikh is testing you? How do you know your sheikh's test from your own destruction to your own self? She is not destroying your ego. She is preparing you. She is showing you way. And it is in your hand you are entering to that door or you are entering to the other door. So many people today claiming that they are, they have a sheikh, but the sheikh says to them, enter from this side, they enter from the other side. They say, no sheikh, I think it's this way. So the sheikh says to them, first order, first time they ask, sheikh says to them, okay, don't do this. And they don't sit down to be comfortable, to be patient. They go back again saying, no, I want to do this. And the sheikh says, do as you like. The second is your choice, it's not the sheikh's choice. First is the sheikh's, sheikh's choice. And sheikh is showing you the tolerance and mercy that through that door. But when you are going to the other side now, it's your choice. And you by yourself. So your skin is in and out. Doesn't make too much difference that time. Because uh, those people that they really following the teachings of their sheikh today, uh, definitely in this dunya also so many things open front of them. So many people claiming to have sheikh in these days. Claiming. And they are claiming that they love the sheikh. But they are never consulting with the sheikh. Even the important matters, they do as they like. Later they get into trouble. Later they say, Sheikh is testing me. MashaAllah. <laughs> really, Sheikh is testing you? Or you just dive inside the hell by your own self? Saying, I have a Sheikh. And, uh, you have a Sheikh when you're sitting and you're giving Bayat Prando to Sheikh. There is certain things that definitely you will not do otherwise than what he says to you. And we're not finding that anymore. So the sheikh, they're not really testing the murids anymore too. Because the results, they know what they're going to get. They're going to fail. So they're not testing. They're just hoping and praying and preparing them that they may change and they don't enter to the grave with that such a uh, arrogance and stubbornness and ignorance and and jealousy and envy and the proudness. And this is what the murids they have in these days. And these are the, uh, inherited from shaitan. That's why you don't find even murids, they love each other anymore. Leave the other tariqats. They're sitting next to each other, but they are so far away from each other. Nobody really cares of each other. That's the reality. So, what else the question is saying there? How is going to happen to him in the grave? What is? Well, if something happens to you specifically, does it mean your shape is testing you? <laughs> or is it from your own destruction? Say to yourself how much I am listening to my shape and watch yourself and understand. And if there's something, test is coming to you, at that time, you will be very happy anyway. This came to me from my sheikh as a test. He's counting me for something. So he's testing me, mashallah, subhanallah, alhamdulillah. So that means I am not still in the kindergarten. I'm just making a step ahead. So it's not self-disruption. Usually, definitely, people, they are self-disrupting themselves. They dive into the wrong areas. Sheikh doesn't tell you directly to do this. Sheh, he may see what is difficulties for you down in the road, and he says to you, now you came to this uh, fork, don't choose the right road, choose the left side. Usually, you will say, but the Sheh, right side is always okay. Left is the communist. <laughs> so you got to go to the right side. It doesn't work that way. So the Sheikh is showing 
to you through certain signs that you are the one who's making the decision. That's why you have a free will. If you completely submit your will to the hand of the chef and you don't do nothing, through tongue, through inspiration, nothing, but the chef is moving you left and right, just like our grand chef saying that the murit has to be in my hand like a dead body. When the person is washing the dead body, the dead body will not complain, saying this is too hot water or cold water, or you hit my head to do marble there, or you just use hardship on me. No. So he says, the murid, that's the way he has to submit himself to the chef. Find that murid, including me, all those who's claiming that they are the halifes or this, that they are, they submit themselves that way to their chef, then definitely they have entered to paradise while they are in dunya. If they submit themselves that way. But if she says something to them and it doesn't fit to their intelligence, just worldly, oh, oh look what they're doing to the sheikhs. How many times you are experiencing that? <laughs> we are saying anything to them. <laughs> We're not doing anything. We say, oh, she wants this and he wants that for me. It's only shaitan. She is there to give to you. The sheikh, not the the crooks, there is crooks and there is sheikhs. I don't say there is a fake sheikh. There is no fake. Either he's a sheikh or he's a crook. If you get fooled by a crook, that means you are also a crook. You don't have enough sincerity. If you have enough sincerity, you're going to see it in short time. And you're going to realize it. And you're going to say, oh, this is not for me. Let me just escape because he's a crook. You will understand if you are a sincere one. That means you still, you also have some crookness inside of you. And, well, whichever the one that is strong is going to use it that time. What can you do? If you have that way, if you feel that way with me too, you have to say you are a crook, go away. Find somebody better. If not, you say, Sheikh, you are okay, but you're testing me very hard. I didn't start testing you yet, because you didn't become murid yet. You are just sitting here. And I gave you initiation. What will happen if I tell you, you love this job so much, you're making this much money, you stop that job. You love this car so much, give it to that one that you hate. The Sheikh has certain things to test you with. What you will do that time? <laughs> Sheikh is trying to fool me. He's trying to take my car away. <laughs> That's what happened to some people. That I have so many cars here laying down. And there was a murid that I have them to use their car for something. For them to get some blessing. Uh, he is trying to steal my car. <laughs> ah, mashallah. The foolish ones. Empty heads. Yes, worshipping to dunya is nothing else. Worshipping to dunya. So that if that one is blind with that, no matter what you do, he's never going to understand anything. If you sit here and you talk to them what they are doing in their house, they turn around, chef put a uh, cassette here, video cassette, and is listening to us. <laughs> That's, that's exactly what you've been going through. And they know what I'm talking about, who is talking, that they know too. And they are still claiming that they love me so much that I am their sheikh. <laughs> yes, sir. So, no fate. As Abu Jahil did too. He said to the Prophet, wasalam, if you tell me what kind of stones I have in my hand, I'm going to believe that you are a prophet. And he bring his jahil friends with him too. And look, we're going to fool him so much, we're going to love so much. So the prophet said to him, you want me to say what kind of stones you have in your hand? Or you want the stones to say to you who I am? 
He wasn't believing that he is a prophet. Right? And he said to them, you want the stones? You want me to say what kind of stones you have in your hand? Or you want the stones to speak to you, to say to you who I am? Uh, this Abu Jail characteristics now, it is in so many people claiming to be the murids, claiming that they love the Shah. And Abu Jail, ha ha ha, laughing so ugly, looking at it. <laughs> you hear what he's saying? And he said to them, Yes, turn around, open your hand. I should not see those stones and let these stones to speak. And he turned around, opened his hand, and all his ugly friends looking. And the stones, they are speaking with a language saying, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah, wa ashadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. He closed, he looked, he turned around, and the Prophet said to him, he didn't see the stones, he said, you have this, this, this types of stones in your hand. He looked at it. His friends, their heart is moving that way. They are going to accept the prophet saying, Ya Muhammad, you became such a great magician. You're making stones to speak. Only magicians, they do such a thing like this. Whatever he showed to him, is exactly what he did. Because... He was blind. He didn't see nothing except his evil. Whatever was showing to him, that's what he was going to do. Just like the ones that they went up to the mountain, they wanted to hear what Musa is speaking with who. And they heard also the same thing, what the Prophet is hearing. And Prophet got so happy saying, Allah make them to hear. These are the leaders of people. Now, my job is going to become easy. They're going to go down and they're going to say to them, we heard what Musa is saying. They say, yeah, Musa, we heard the same thing that you heard, but we didn't see it. So we have to see it. Musa, a.s., shivering from the fear, knowing his Lord, and shivering from the fear, saying, don't ask such a foolishness. Because I couldn't carry to see. Allah did not create us to see him in this blank, in this vision, in this physical form. You cannot bear to see that. Don't ask this. He said, no, we have to see. Otherwise, we're not going to accept it. And that's what happened to them. And you want to see. Just one drop of ray coming. Shh entering and just like a shimshek lightning and shaking the whole world and passing from one to another is burning them into cold and they're falling down they turn into a huge coal burn black coal and Musa said I'm looking not single one of them is living they all fall down Now Musa has another worry now. Saying, Ya Rabbi, now I don't know what to do. How I'm going to go down? <laughs> Those ones, they were so arrogant and stubborn against me. Now they're going to say, I brought them up here and I burned them. So I cannot work with them. Now impossible. Saying, don't worry, oh my beloved one. They will speak by themselves. To their friends and for you say get up I raise you all and they all rise but they all black coal and <laughs> shaking <laughs> and they came down to their nation <laughs> this is what happened <laughs> everybody witness and they start falling down one by one in 40 days, they all die. So, these are the top scholar ones. They, they were the most knowledgeable ones. Hmm? 
Sanhedrix. <laughs> yes, right, Sanhedrix. That's why they have 71 tribes, 71 different leaders. Uh, they representing 71 tribes of uh, not nation of Musa, huh? The groups that they are disobedient. That Holy Prophet saying <coughs> they will be Jews. They will separate into 71 division. One straight in Sirat Mustaqim following Musa alayhisselam. The other 70. They will go astray to the wrong sides. The Christians, they will divide 72. One is staying, stays, staying straight, accepting Isa the way that he has came. The other 71, it is in the wrong. My nation will divide 73. One is staying in Sirat to Mustaqim. 72, bounding their road, is leading them to a hell. Yes, and all that is preparing now from the Jews to Christians and the Muslims. The Muslims always there. Now the Jews they disappear sometimes. Now they are rising again, and they are. Oof. Yeah, and end of the times. It's okay. And they should all come out. All ugliness and all goodness is gonna come out now. Find your space where you are standing. Doesn't matter. I am this one. I am that one. I am such a, I have a, such a holy grandfather, I have a, such a holy father, or holy mother, or who are you? Look at that. Which side are you going to stand? So many are standing on the wrong side right now. Yes. And that's all. We mean Allah, 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 we mean